us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. Let us look at question 20. In the diagram, A, B and C are three points on the level ground. The bearing of B from A is 137 degrees. The bearing of C from B is 250 degrees. And angle ACB equals 35 degrees. Find the bearing of A from B, then B, A from C. So the bearing of A from B means you go at B, at which is point B, then you turn from the north clockwise up to the line that is going to A. So it's that angle we are looking for. So for us to know that angle, we need to know this angle. Or we need to know this angle. So if you can know that angle, then finding the bearings, because we're going to take out this one from 360, then we're going to have the answer. So let me just move to the bigger space where I can zoom in so that you're able to see me properly and follow easily from my explanation. So we are looking for this angle from here to here. How can we find that angle? We need to know this angle. Once we know this angle, then we can easily answer the question. So our target is first of all to find this angle. So we can find that angle by extending the north. This is the trick. Extend this north. So once we extend this north, we discover that we can find this angle. Because this straight line north to south is 118. So once we know this, this line, this angle, then we also know this angle. They are the same. Okay, they are corresponding angles. So we can find y by saying y plus 137 must equal to 180 because that's a straight line. So meaning y is equal to 180 minus 137. Okay, then what we get is in 43 degrees. So if you know what y is, then finding the bearing of, of A from B is just taking 43 from 360. So we extend this one, so it will be 360 minus y, we get the bearing. So if I go back here now, to answer B to just B, this angle y itself is 43. So to, to answer that one to be 360, which is a complete circle, minus what we know, which is 43, this will give me 317 degrees. So once you do that, then you should be able to get the two marks. So this is how simple it is. Then we can go to question B. So question B is, Find the bearing of A from C. A from C. So this tells me that you go at C, draw the north. Then you turn. So it's this turn we are looking for. You see this turn? It's that turn we are looking for. So it's this angle. This angle is what we are looking for. So how can we find this angle? Let me go again where the screen is big so that you are able to see. So I will draw a north here. This is the north. We are looking for this angle. That's the angle we are looking for. So how can we find the, that angle? So we can find that angle by knowing this angle. Once we know this angle, then we know this angle. So I can call this angle to be x. So we have x plus y. Of, of course, y is 43. We've already found it. Then I know that y is 43 even that side 
we already found that angle. So this angle itself is 43. So I can find this angle by taking out 250 and 43 from 360. Then I'll be able to find this. So once I find this angle, then I know that 35 plus this angle, then plus this angle should give me 180. That's the principle I'm going to use. So the first thing is let me find the angle. So I'll call this angle to be Z. So this tells me that Z plus 43 plus 250 must equal to 360. That's what this means. So once I do that, I'm going to add this so it will be Z is equal to 250 plus 43. I'm going to get 293. Okay? That's what I'm going to get. So this remains a plus. This must is equal to 360. So um, I, I, I take space here. So I'm going to say now Z is equal to 360 minus 293. So I'm going to, to get 60, 67. So this angle itself, this angle is 67. So this is 67. So I know, I know 35, I know 67. So I know why this is y is 43. I can find x. Now that x is the bearing is equal to this angle here. That's what it means. So I just need to go to 35 plus 67 plus 43 plus x must is equal to 180, then solve for x. That x is the bearing of a from c, which is a from c. So I can use this space here to solve, so that I don't get a lot of them. So it will be 35, 35 plus 67, which I found, then plus, I'm going to use 67 in a different color, plus 43, 43 is this one that we found. This 43 and this, they are parallel, so this, they are corresponding angles, so this is also 43. So I'm adding 67, 35, 43, and x. Plus x must is equal to 180. So what I need to do is now just add. So if I add this one and this one, I'm going to get 70 plus 40, 110 plus 35, I'm going to get 145 plus x is equal to 180. So x is equal to 180 minus 145. So x is equal to 35 degrees. So this angle itself is in 35 degrees. So if I send that scene, then I will turn 35 degrees to look at M. Hence, the bearing of a from C is 0, 35 degrees. So this is how we answer this. So I've taken a bit of time to explain so that you get the context. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at question 21.